I'm going to do a prayer. And it's a, a it's one prayer to break all curses, cast out demons, and to protect yourself. And you can add to this prayer. Um, you can add more scripture to it. We, I suggest you pray it as one prayer or use each section as and when required. So before you use this prayer, we're going to read Matthew 12, verses 43 through 45. It says, When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person and passes through the waterless places, seeking rest, but finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds the house empty, swept, and put in order. Then it goes and brings with it seven other spirits, more evil than itself. And they enter and dwell there, and the last state of that person is worse than the first. So also will it be with all evil generation. After expelling the spirits from yourself, you will have to stop sinning, cut out the things of the world, and serve God to prevent them from coming back in. Because they will come back and look, and they will come back and try to come back in. Just, just so I'm just putting you right, putting that out there right now. It's recommended to pray the protection prayer in step four, or pray the one warfare pray per daily. And I am going to do this by steps. Okay, step one is to confess sins, to renounce pride, rebellion, and self-centeredness. Okay, Papa in heaven, in the name of Jesus, I believe that Jesus died on the cross to take my sins and rose again from the dead. I confess all my sins and repent. Vengeance belongs to you, God, not me. I forgive everyone who has, who has hurt me and pray for their souls because they don't know what they have done to me. In Jesus' name, I transfer all pain, betrayal, rejection, abuse, trauma, shame, guilt, and abandonment to the cross of Jesus Christ. I let go of all anger, resentment, hatred, thoughts of revenge, and every malicious thought. Father, as I forgive them, please forgive me. I know that pride is an abomination to you. I renounce pride, rebellion, disobedience, stubbornness, and self-centeredness. I humble myself and come to you as a child of God. And I ask for forgiveness and deliverance in Jesus' name and mighty name. Amen. Now see, step two is breaking all the curses. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break and loose myself and my family from all curses caused by habits, charms, hexes, spells, jinxes, psychic powers, sorcery, witchcraft, love potions, psychic prayers, violence, trauma, physical bondages, mental bondages, incest, illegitimacy, abandonment, rejection, and divination. And the family on the mother and father side, going back all the way to Adam and Eve. I break and loose myself and my family from any vows I made, from any person or occult or psychic sources, or any demons coming through the bloodlines. I cancel all invitations made to unclean spirits. Father, I break and renounce all evil soul ties that I have ever made, had with lodges, fraternities, sexual partners, close friends, relatives, engagements, cults, occult objects, dolls, figurines, junk food, cigarettes, drugs, movies, anime, TV shows, computer games, gambling, porn, masturbation, fornication, and secular music. I renounce all these ties, and I declare them destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce and break and lose myself and family from all other religions, especially Roman Catholicism, Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, Mormonism, Jehovah Witnesses, New Age, Atheism, and other religions. I also renounce unbelief, doubt, lies, fears, hatred, and anger. I bind and cast out all related spirits. I renounce, break, and loose myself from all demonic subjection to my parents and any human being, or any human being, living or dead, who has dominated me in any way against my will of God. Thank you for setting me free. I command Satan to lose all natural resources, land, animals, money, and finances of people who owes us money, and all the things you have stolen from my family that are ours through the blessings of Jesus. Father, please send your angels to bring these things back to us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Step three is to bind the demons and cast out the demons. Through the blood of Jesus, I am redeemed out of the hand of the devil, and all my sins are forgiven. 
the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses me from all sins. I am justified and made righteous, just as I, if I had never sinned. I am set apart for God. My body is a temple of the, for the Holy Spirit, redeemed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus now, body, soul, and spirit. His body protects me against all evil. Satan has no more power over me, no more place inside of me. I renounce all evil spirits completely and declare them to be my enemies. Jesus said, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, shall they cast out devils. That's in Mark sixteen seventeen. I am a believer, and in the name of Jesus Christ I exercise my authority and expel all evil spirits. I command them to leave according to the word of God, and in the name of Jesus, amen. Father in heaven, please send your Holy Spirit to fill up, fill us up in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask for legions upon legions of angels from heaven in the name of Jesus to station around us. Angels of the Lord at Jesus' command attack every unclean spirit in Jesus Christ's name. I bind the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness, and all the strong demons in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all demons not to transfer. Go exactly where Jesus wants you to go and do not come back. I cancel all demonic assignments on this person. In the name of Jesus Christ, I remit the sins of this person. In the name of Jesus, I separate every foul spirit that this person's soul in accordance with the word of God in Hebrews 4.12. I cut every foul spirit from the, this person with the sword of the spirit. Unclean spirits, I command you to manifest and come out of this name in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons, I command you to come out of the mouth now and, then, and never come back in Jesus' name. Go to the pit. Get up and go now. Out now. I said, Holy Spirit, fire to burn you a thousand times hotter than hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire from head to toe. Make it hotter. Hotter yet. I said, Holy Spirit, fire all over your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire from head to toe. Make it hotter. Burn them up. Burn them up. Burn them up. I send Holy Spirit fire all over the room, the floor, and the ceiling. Fire from head to toe. Burn them up. Evil spirit, every evil spirit that hears my voice, I command you to tell the truth in the name of Jesus. Tell us your name in the name of Jesus Christ. How long have you been here? What have you been doing inside? Are there more of you? And do you have a legal right to be here? Yes or no? What is your name? And will it stand up to the word of God? Every evil spirit that hears my voice, I command you to attack the strong man. Do not Stop in the name of Jesus Christ. I order civil war in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil spirits attack each other in the name of Jesus. Destroy your own kingdom. I lose burning judgment and destruction upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to look at Jesus and do what he tells you to do. Look at Jesus. And do what he tells you to do. Go to where he tells you to go. Don't touch anybody on the way out. I cut all evil spiritual connection to this body and burn it away in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn it off now. Burn off now. I torment your demon to give you no rest in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, send power from the third heaven to destroy these demons in the name of Jesus Christ. I trample on you, demons, and I shatter your being in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every unclean spirit by the blood of the Lamb. This is a child of God. Their body has been sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I rebuke and cast out every unclean spirit to the pit. I command them never to return in the name of Jesus Christ. Warrior angels, flog the demons and choke them out. Send the demons to the pit in Jesus' name.
Get out now. We thank you, Papa. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Continue casting, getting rid of these demons. Continue setting them on fire. Continue to allow them to destroy their own camp. Step four. It's a prayer protection for you who are the body of Christ. Dear Father, please make me a humble servant of people like Jesus Christ. I will push myself down so that you, God, can lift me up. Remove my human understanding and wisdom and fill me with your wisdom and understanding. I'm a worm before you, Lord. In accordance with your word, my righteousness is as filthy rags. I can't do good without you. Please have mercy upon me and help me change day by day to become more like you, Jesus. I ask that you please send your ministering spirits to protect your people and all people and animals that would be sacrificed or cursed by the occult practices. And Lord, I, I ask for protection right now just from our world leaders. In the name of Jesus, I lose legions of legions of angels to warfare, restore souls, protect believers, stop us from believing and agreeing with lies, and release breakthrough upon, upon people, my, myself, my family, and friends, and the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask that you bring truth into the light. I ask that you hold those who are responsible for the evil in this world to be held responsible for what they have done. For what they are doing. I lose the Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of understanding and wisdom, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of God, and the spirit of adoption upon myself, my family, and the world. I invite your Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of power, of love, and of sound mind against the spirit of fear. Father, please pour out your Holy Spirit to convict the world of sins and to soften hearts to see truth. Above all, I pray for your will, Father, to be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You know, keep on doing self-deliverance by praying every day and submitting your will to God. This may take weeks. It can even take months. Deliverance is not a one-time thing. It is a way of life. Deliverance comes when you are in des you are desperate and have faith. If you don't have faith, Read the Word of God and watch deliverance videos. There's a whole bunch of them on YouTube. After deliverance, the Spirit will hit you with lies and then fear. Example of lies, you're blasphemy God, you're the Holy Spirit of Jesus, or you just had an evil, lustful thought. Then you follow it up with then they'll follow up with fear, you're going to hell. And God's not gonna forgive you. Rebuke those lies. In Jesus' name, I rebuke the lying, hypocritical spirits. That thought didn't come from me. It came from you. Depart from me in Jesus' name. It's easy. It's so easy just to get rid of them. But you have to use your power and authority. You need to rebuke fear. In Jesus' name, fear is not of God. I rebuke you, fear, and I come against you with the spirit of love and the power and sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To overcome lies and fears, you will need to learn how to stand on the Word of God. You will need to keep your mind on God, trust in the Word of God to protect you. If you don't, if I mean, if you let doubt enter, your peace will be destroyed. Remember, perfect peace comes from thinking about God all the time, trusting Him. Remember what Jesus did for you, understanding that you are forgiven when you confess your sins. That's in First John one nine. And thanking God for his mercy and his grace. Isaiah 26 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Think of all the good things. Oh, you know, Philippians 4 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Now, keep the demons out. Read your Bible. Live out the Word of God. Start with Matthew and read through Revelations. 
then read the Old Testament. Why? Because we are commanded to, and Satan is a biblical scholar and expert legal prosecutor. He goes before God 24-7 and talks about us and complains about us and tells God our sins. So when you go before God, just admit your sins. Matthew 4, 4, but he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God.